The Killers of the Flora Moon by Martin Scorsese is very good, and here's why. In short, the story is about Native Americans who get very rich in the 1920s when people find oil on their lands, and the white Americans who get very jealous because of this. Slowly, the Native Americans are getting murdered and tricked into doing things they don't want to do. Despite the fact that the Native Americans know that the white Americans want their money, they still marry them and go along with a scenario which is Stockholm Syndrome on steroids. The story at the center of the killers of the flower moon is very interesting, rich and nuanced. The Capra's character is unsure how to navigate this world of lies and money and you can never really know if he's in love, if he's just weak or even if money means that much to him. In a lot of ways, Martin Scorsese is making the same film over and over again. Weak men giving in to temptation, money and violence as the devices to demonstrate their downfall. I think this film is following Martin Scorsese's historical filmography with real events and the creation of the America we know today, along with The Irishman and Gangster of New York, for instance. On the whole, I think it's a very promising setup, but takes too long to close the bag. The third act could easily be cut in half. There's very little characterization, so no need for this runtime. The characters don't really evolve at all during this film. As expected, very strong performances by Leonardo DiCaprio, Lily Gladstone, Robert De Niro and Jesse Plemons. I think especially Robert De Niro is very enjoyable to watch as he's trying to put, scheme everyone and make the world revolve around him. Rodrigo Pieto's cinematography is gorgeous and very precise. Great use of light and composition. Robbie Robertson's score is, is beautiful and menacing at the same time. I loved it. In summary, it's a very important film with a very interesting perspective on the, the post Wild Wild West era, but it's way too long. The Killers of the Flower Moon is definitely worth a watch, but I think you could just wait for the streaming.